Hey guys, it's Tim here again for part four in my How to Sound a Little Bit Like Elton John series. This time we're gonna be exploring what I call first inversion walk-ups. Elton does it all the time and you're gonna know and recognize it. It sounds a little bit like... Have you ever heard that kind of sound before or this one? That little movement between one chord to its first inversion and then to often the fourth chord in the, uh, in the scale is super fun to use. It's really easy to add to your own chord progressions and Elton does it all the time. So let's explore a few of the places he does it. So the first example of this from Elton that I'd like to share with you is Rocket Man. And it's used as a little transitionary passage mostly, this idea. Uh, and in this case, he does it in bar four. So we've got, um, he's just done zero hour, 9 a.m. And from here he's going, because he's trying to move up to the E flat chord. So we've got C, we've got this first inversion chord, B flat to E flat. It's, it's a really great kind of uplifting transition and he uses it lots more. So let's find another example. Okay, he uses it in Nikita as well. It's on the second page for me. I don't know how many bars in it is, but you've got, um, what's he just done? Um, so we've got a G chord, he goes G. <laughs> now you probably, you've heard that a million times when you've listened to this song and probably not known. We've got a G chord, we've got a G moving to first inversion, G moving to C. So what do I mean by first inversion? Well, chords don't always have to have the root note of the chord on the bottom. And the actual fact they sound really cool often when they don't. So the key, uh, the chord of C major in root position looks like this, the C is on the bottom. Now, if you play the chord of C major with the C in a different position other than on the bottom, we're in an inversion. And in this case, because the C is kind of the top once, we're in first inversion. If we put the E to the top, we move everything up one more, we're in what's called second inversion. And then if we keep on doing that, we end up back at root position. So what we're talking about here is that you don't always have to change the right hand order of the chord notes because the left hand gives you the root movement, the feeling of what the left hand's doing. So I can play a first inversion C major chord. Rather than moving this, I can move my left hand to here. And we have this sound. And this is a really common progression in music. As you've seen, we've got a few more Elton John examples coming. This from C to C in first inversion. And I could play that if I wanted to, it's okay. To F, which is the fourth chord, the note built, built on the fourth note of the scale. Uh, really, really common movement. So here's uh, Elton doing it in G major. We've got G and then G with B in the left hand, going to C. Exactly the same progression. Does it remind you of one more night? Just give me just one more night. I mean, that's basically built on that entire progression. Uh, Border Song, which I've mentioned in some of my other videos in this series, uses it as well. In fact, it uses it quite a lot. So for example, about around bar five, uh, we've got this. He just moves down to a first inversion and back. So he's in the key of C, so a C chord, and then he goes to G, first inversion and then back to C again. He does it down on the next line as well. And then he goes to an F that time. But that idea of first inversion, again, just helps keep the flow of the melody and the accompaniment and the harmony moving. I love it in Don't Let the Sun Go Down On Me. Really, really common um, progression in this song. It's used a lot. Uh, so you can hear it um, oh, in lots of places. Let's pick one, let's hear. So if we've got um, too late to save myself from falling, and this bit, this we've got a C chord, we've got a C first inversion, and he kind of adds this like cool um, seventh chord here or seventh note. Again, same idea. And in Benny and the Jets, he uses it slightly differently because there is an alternate chord that you can use in the middle that sounds almost the same, but not quite. So in the case of Benny and the Jets, uh, we've got... Dun, 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 
dum ba. So start of the first verse, hey kids. Now that chord progression here, you may go, oh, that sounds really, really similar. And it kind of is, but not quite. What he's doing here, we've got a G, and then we're moving to what's called a G diminished chord. And a diminished chord is just a set of minor thirds moving up from the root note. So G sharp, we've got B, D, F. <coughs> it's got that kind of sinister sound to it. But it's used again as this movement between two chords that are adjacent. So we could have just gone. But moving via that uh, G diminished seventh. So he could also have moved between that using a first inversion E chord. So G, E in first inversion, E major to A minor. So that's a slight variation and I don't want to get too complex with the theory, but you get the idea of how you can actually use these and what they sound like more importantly. And I want you to listen out for them as they come up in music that you're listening to. All right, so let me give you some ways that you can try this in your own composing. So let's take a super simple chord progression. Let's say it's the 60s progression of C and then A minor and then F and then G. Because we're moving between uh, two notes on the piano with one note in the middle, we could probably use some kind of inversion moving down to it. So, so for here, I could go to a G chord with a B in the left hand. So it's G first inversion. And I could do it here as well, E minor, first inversion. And we've kind of used the same progression, but we've really kind of changed it a lot too as well. So here's your first inversion going downwards this time. So if we went back up. So just getting used to moving up and down. All right, in C major you could do it just using C and then use the first inversion to going to F, which is literally what Elton does. So try it again, C. There's your first inversion chord, F. So I hope you enjoyed that look at another compositional tactic used by Elton, that first inversion movement, particularly from a one chord moving to a four chord and going via the first inversion, hey cat. If you've liked this video, then please make sure you share, subscribe, hit the bell icon so I can notify you when I next go and release a video. And if you've got any questions at all, make sure you leave them below, any comments, questions, whatever it is, I'm happy to answer those uh, as well as I can. We'll see you in the next video, guys.